Hey everybody, Boris Lash with BK Forest. Welcome to the Weekly Technicals for the Crosses for June 10th to June 14, 2019. And as the title of my first video says to you, I'm really going to be betting on the fact that we have a little bit of a risk on flow here this week. Therefore, I chose a couple of risk on trades and then a uh, event risk trade with Aussie Kiwi. Let's see um, the crosses and I'll discuss them in more detail. Euro Swiss to me uh, essentially was a massive risk off trade the last couple of weeks. We we dropped all the way down to 11 uh, below 1150, like 1125, and now slowly making our way back towards the 1200 level. And as we recover, there's obviously strong chance here uh, with dollar Swiss flows coming back towards uh, towards parity or perhaps even above parity to really push Euro Swiss to the 113 level uh, as we go forward. Euro Yen, same kind of a story. It's really a trade on dollar Yen flows through the 109s. It takes us down up to the 123s. The underlying thesis here is that Euro itself remains relatively stationary. It's pretty much at value, um, maybe even has potential for more upside. And it's the crosses, the dollar crosses that get bought um, and therefore present an opportunity for the, for the, for the Euro crosses to kind of float up as more relief and more risk on flows uh, come through. A lot of these uh, trades, both of these trades, in my opinion, really depend on where the 10-year is much more so than even the equity flows. If the 10-year can get itself up to 225 by the end of this week or maybe even um, by the beginning of next week, very likely we should be to the top side of those resistance levels. If not, then of course we could be sitting pretty much at these levels or even test support. Now, Aussie Kiwi, on the other hand, is really going to become a very serious event risk trade because if we get, we, we've tested this very, very key support of 105s, been bouncing off of it today. If we get good data, we probably come right back up towards the 106s. If we get really bad data, then this key support gets broken. And after that, there is nothing, nothing below that. So let's take a look at all the cross charts. I'll start with, with the, the risk trades first, Euro Swiss. Um, and you can see here that we have the double bottom in place pretty much at this uh, 111 level, one, one, uh, 111.50 even. It's not, it's not even 111. 111.50 is probably the, the key support. I just took it to 11 because of this of this spike low that we saw uh, last week. But overall, it's slowly but surely, you can see it's double bottom, building, building, building back up. Uh, we're trading a little bit um, off right now, but this is actually, I'm, I'm right now, doing this this video right at the rollover close. So the, the true numbers are around 1200. This is just simply wide spreads as, as, we, as we do rollover. Still uh, a little bit of a corrective day today. So we really need to take out, I think the, the, the true positive signal is if we can recover, take this uh, 20 SMA at around 1226, that really puts us on a much stronger path towards the 1300s as the, as the uh, shorts, as the longs clearly take control of the trade here. Now Euro Yen, um, similar kind of a story, Euro Yen is already above the 20 SMA, so it's already given us uh, a positive signal to the upside. Now is the question here, as I said, we're trying to fill the gap, uh, and it's really uh, a question whether Dollar Yen can trade its uh, way back up towards the 109s. That will really pull us up through the 123s, and then possibly 120, closer to 124s. This spike high at around 123.65 uh, is certainly going to act as, as a pretty serious resistance. But generally, I think the whole 2350 to 24 will be a much more formidable resistance but from there to here, there's quite a lot of room here, and it looks to be that we could make the move up if, uh, if we get positive risk flows as we go. And then finally, here's the event risk trade for this week in the, um, in the crosses with Aussie Kiwi. You see the Aussie Kiwi here that we, uh, we've tested, it, tested, it, tested the 105s. We took it out uh, last week in a, in a pretty sharp move, but then we bounced right back through it, and now we're consolidating. And I think this is the key thing. If, if we get positive Australian data, um, you really want to basically assume that this is a double bottom and the trade goes right back up towards the 106s. If we get the negative data that takes out the lows, and this is the critical thing, the lows here are going to be what? Um, well, like 10, just, just at 10490s, I think. I don't think there was anything. Let me see what was the lows here. Yeah, 10490s. Not really, really a lot of this. Just been a lot of bids at this 105. So a really bad number is going to blow those bids right through. Once we clear all of those bits at the 105, there is nothing here technically until 104, not even really till 10, uh, 103 essentially. So that becomes at that point very much a downward trend, a trade, any kind of a retrace becomes a sell opportunity and we will have established a, you know, a fresh downward leg. Uh, but I would be watching this very carefully depending on, on the event risk to kind of decide whether this is going to be a double bottom 
or a fresh leg to the downside. That's the uh, best stories in the crosses this week. I wish you guys the best of luck, the best trading. Bush Lossberg, over and out.